people, I've decided I'm going to try and use vitamin C to strip the henna hair color out of my gray hair. So I'm going to see if it works. I've heard good things or read good things on the internet, so fingers crossed. I've grabbed some anti-dandruff shampoo. Um, this one was just the cheapest. It's not a brand I recommend. It was $2.50 as opposed to $12.50. Um, and I've grabbed some vitamin C tablets. Now these are dissolvable ones, so they should crush up into a finer powder easier. But um, it's not required. As long as you grab some vitamin C tablets and um, turn them into a powder somehow, whether that's through some kind of blending or rolling pin in a plastic bag. Well, not the rolling pin in a plastic bag, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, so I'm not going to show you the processes of me crushing it up, putting it in the shampoo and applying it to my hair, um, simply because I don't know how to set up a camera to do that. So I'm going to, um, I don't know, come back after I've got it all on and I'll show you. And I don't have a set recipe for amounts or anything like that. Everything's really vague. So I've decided to just use 10 of these um, vitamin C tablets. They're 1000 milligram for each tablet. So I'm going to use 10 and however much uh, shampoo I need to make that go on and it's supposed to go on to dry hair uh, so I'll be back after I've got it on 10 minutes later it's all on I've wrapped it in glad wrap or plastic wrap and um, I have to say it was lots of fun stirring the uh, tablets into the shampoo it foamed up just like a kid's uh, volcano experiment Okay, I'm just going to wait now. Some people say 30 minutes, some say an hour. I'm not sure how long I'll go, but I'll let you know when I rinse it out how long I waited. It's been on my hair for one hour. Um, after about 15 minutes, my scalp felt quite itchy, but not sore. Um, the shampoo mixture actually turned out this sort of orangey colour, so you, all of these little marks on my forehead. I just where it's dribbled down. It still looks really quite red or orange on top from the henna. So hopefully by washing it will strip a lot of that colour out. But I thought I'd show you the in-between just before I go. Okay, back after. Okay, I've just got out the shower and as you can see there's still a whole lot of henna still in there. My grey looks beautiful and shiny. Uh, but the henna is still very vibrant so what I've decided to do oh and my skin is really red because I had the water extremely hot because when I've used vegetable dyes they tell you to use cold water so that when you shampoo you're not losing the dye so I figured the opposite would be true if I want to remove dye to use hot water so I may have scalded my skin by using it so very hot so that container of vitamin C that I have has 10 more tablets left in it and if 10 didn't really strip this very well, rather than me spending more money on some more vitamin C, I thought I would just see if strengthening the mix will improve it. So what I will do probably tomorrow or the next day is take a section that's on top of my head the most orange section. I'm looking <laughs> in the phone as a mirror um, and just do like that much using the 10 vitamin C tablets that I have left and see if that works. And if that doesn't work then I will probably give up on the vitamin C method and just grow out my grey. So I will add to this video once my hair is dry uh, and I'll do this section. Back again I've decided I don't want to wait and so I've tied up my hair into pigtails and I've taken that one section I mentioned earlier I was going to do and I've dried it out and I'm going to apply the 10 uh, <laughs> brain fog uh, the 10 vitamin C tablets mixed with the anti-dandruff shampoo into just that one section so here we go for round two 
thought I'd try and show you how much fun it was when I added the uh, shampoo and then mixed it in. Man, this is hard to do one-handed. See how it's gone all fluffy? Okay, I'm going to have to do this with two hands. How's that for a good look? Oh, it's so funny. I'm going to call this a fail. The colour is still a really gorgeous, vibrant orange. Or red, whatever you want to call it. But it's still really really bright and it really is a pretty color um, but it yeah it's not taken the color out it may have faded it the slightest bit but not enough for me to want to keep doing this over and over again to get the results that I was hoping for my skin has actually reacted to uh, having the uh, vitamin C on my hair or on my scalp so it's not a good idea for repeat use so yeah I just thought I'd show that this was actually a fail for me anyway I wonder if it's because my hair was so very very silver if you can see there's hardly any dark hair left in amongst that now it's mostly grey so maybe because it had such a silver base to start with the henna grabbed more and so it is harder to strip because I have seen lots of videos of people that have had success using this method. Anyway, for me, no success and I'll either have to continue using the henna, which I really don't want to do, or I'll probably go back to um, grey with time. I'll probably have a short haircut in about six months time and then start growing it out. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I wish it had been successful, but thanks for watching anyway. Have a beautiful day.